Welcome back to Darkwood. It's the beginning of day eight. It's just about time to head back to the silent forest now that I've unlocked the entrance and actually go inside. I haven't checked my journal in a while. Do I have anything new? Just, <laughs> just this drawing. I'm guessing that's because of the silent forest. Okay. So what do I want to take with me? I guess I... S no, I'm not going to take any gas. I seem to always find some gas. Seems to be relatively common. Oh, but then again, I could use the gas to burn stuff with the matchsticks, which could be important. Hmm... Okay, I'll bring some gas and a matchstick. <laughs> what do I do about this embryo? Do I just sell it? It's so disgusting. What if it, what if something comes out of it? I think I just want to sell it. Um, can I repair this? No. Okay, I guess I should repair one of these and take it with me then. Anything else? I feel like I should take a torch just in case I encounter any more of that goop. Yeah, I'll just keep it down here. Ah, I've got a lot of stuff on me though. I'm going to dump the battery. I'm going to sell the embryo, so that's going to go away. Maybe I should... I'm just going to leave this, actually. I'll just take the board. And let's go sell the embryo. Get rid of that damn creepy thing. Yeah, you can have it. Have fun. My reputation is so good with them. It would, I would take a pretty big hit to my reputation, but I could buy a watch. I really want that watch. I also want a shovel blade, but that would... that's too much. Let's go for the watch. Good, I was hoping it wouldn't be an actual item. Just adds it to your UI, top right. So we're 8 in the morning. Oh, it is an actual item, though. If I drop it, it goes away. Okay, so you do actually have to take up a slot with it. Damn. I think you just put it on your wrist, you know? Oh, well. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. I think we're ready. Go turn off the generator and go to the silent forest. Wonder how fast time passes. Perhaps a minute, a second? Days certainly don't last very long, and we're about to find out. Yeah, it looks like about a minute a second. Oh, I just noticed something. Oh, have I search? I haven't searched his body. Or this crate. 
Ooh. Well, that just ruined my storage space. I'm not going back, though. I'm going to the Silent Forest. Um, yeah, I just noticed something. So, I've noticed sometimes when I'm running, it seems like... Sometimes I don't use very much stamina to sprint, and other times I do, and I wasn't sure exactly why. I just realized what it was. It looks like if you're walking on a path, a marked, like a marked path, it uses very little stamina to sprint. And if you're off the beaten path, then it uses a lot more. So like, this is considered a path. Look what happens when I sprint on it. Look at my sprint meter, or my stamina rather. You can see it uses very little, but look what happens when I go off the path. Way faster. So it actually pays to stay on the path. I almost want to dump some stuff here. Like one scrap metal isn't worth much. A couple nails aren't worth much. The wire. No, not the gas, the wire. I guess I'll leave the smaller gas here too. I'm sure I'll be coming back here. Oh, oh. Christ. Wasn't expecting that. This one had a special color to it. It was like purple instead of whatever the other ones were. Just the usual, usual shell, though. I'm also gonna dump that. Oh, it's full. I could dump it in a wardrobe, but eh, whatever. Okay. Here we go. Map of the forest. Whoa. I just heard something. Shotgun shells. Location found silent forest hideout. There is a hideout. Yes, where is it? So just straight to the left. Okay, good. Good, good, good. What? They're alive. Sleeper. They're alive. And then hide out. Look for an exit beneath the floor. Okay. Thank you. Why are they sleeping? Out here? And why did they just let me take their stuff and... Wh what? Okay, well if there's a hideout just right there, then I'm gonna take all these supplies. Especially the gas. better with the flashlight. It's so dense. Oh. 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 I think it's a super dog. Oh. Oh. Oh god, it's in here. dog. That was a strong dog. Almost killed me. I am going to use a bandage. Christ. Hmm. Oh, holy crap. That bandage lasts an extremely long time. I feel like I, I mean, I just wasted more than half of it. It's almost something you'd want to use before combat, actually. Hmm. Okay. What 
Wasn't I having my second slot before? I don't remember. Silent Forest. Bear Trap. Oh, I think this is the hideout. Thank God. Yep, definitely it. This place would make a good hideout. I hear mushroom noises. Check the perimeter. Got some wood. Oh, looks like another well I could repair. What is that? Paint bucket? I've got no room. Okay, got the saw. A little bit of gas. Doorway's busted. Gonna have to do a lot of repairs here. I've got a bunch of wood back at the other hideout that I haven't processed in the saw yet. Oh, got some gas in that one. Let's go ahead and fill it up. Let's get this thing up and in good shape before I do anything else. It's such a satisfying noise. I just noticed the safe house effect thing isn't appearing in the top left. Oh, I think this is the actual, like, safe safe house. Just organized a bit differently. Potato. It's got a lot of roots growing out of it. Sprouts. None of my keys fit. Oh. Oh, wait. I tried to use a lockpick. Do I not have any? I do. I guess I can lockpick it. Looks like a workbench, but I guess it isn't. Oh man, this place needs a lot of work. Okay, workbench. Dump some stuff. Uh, bike bell. Someone has attached a note to it. Interesting. Check that out in a second. Light the oven. Yeah. The oven is lit again. Oh, good. I was wondering if the whole essence thing would carry over between hideouts. It does. Whoa. Did I just use, like, a super mushroom or something? That just gave me a lot of essence. Okay. Um, let's see. So, I got Eagle Eye. Moth, once a day I'll be able to heal myself by standing next to an electric light source. Once a day, I will be able to learn my current location on the map. Just once a day. Be able to heal myself by eating mushrooms. I'm assuming that's the good mushrooms that I keep getting. Probably not the poisonous ones. I'd rather not eat those. I think I can live without the map thing. I think I'll go with Moth. Huh? 
was a flashback? Military flashlight? What the hell? I've got nothing on me but this flashlight. Isn't this the underground tunnel? Come. Hold on, what's back here? Fourteen... I noticed that 14.10 is the time, and it's telling me the time without actually having a watch, and time is also not moving. 14.10 being four digits makes me think that could be a password to something. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down. Okay, let's continue. Oh, there's a huge root in the way. is that same place. Another shiny stone. <laughs> the only thing I can do is press my ear against the keyhole. I can hear a faint voice throughout the howling wind. It sounds familiar. It seems to be coming through the keyhole. Someone is calling me. Look. It's moving. Come. Come to me. It's open. Follow the shiny stones. That's not good. That can't be good. Christ. I can walk on them? Whoa. That lamp, when I went back, didn't actually look like a lamp, it looked like some sort of humanoid figure.
Did a bunch of time pass? It looks like we started out from 1410. Was that the time when I went in? I'd have to check the video, but I don't think it was that late. Could have been, I guess. So, vision caused by taking another injection. Hmm. 480 to the next one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! It's not that that mushroom was worth a huge amount, it's that this one's efficiency is 4. I guess, th I guess this oven's better. More pure. You get a lot more out of it. Well, forget my other place then. This one's, this place is way better. At some point I'm going to have to spend a day probably just ferrying stuff from the other place to this place. Okay, let's search the rest of this place. Ration stamps. Mm -mm. Something circled, some stuff, some numbers. Far too long to be a password to anything that's four digits, as all the passcodes seem to be so far. So it's worth 40 instead of 20 here. Oh, what did that person say? Something beneath? Something below in the hideout? It's supposed to look beneath stuff? I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to look beneath, if they even said. You can see the safety vapors coming out of the tube here. Move that table. Let's move this one. I guess it's not in here. It could be in the generator room, maybe? Dump some more stuff in here. Bread and rag and pills and whatnot. Cook the mushroom real quick. I think I saw some wood out here. Thought there was some wood outside, so let me go check for some wood, see if I can barricade this place. It's 1600, which is 4 p.m., so it's probably gonna get dark soon. Why is there a battery in the doghouse? Oh, poor doggy. Yeah, a little bit. Actually, a good amount of boards. Let's go process the logs. Okay, 15 boards, not bad. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so let's see if there's something I can move here. Sofa? Box? Oh, I didn't take these. Pill? Potato. Right, I didn't have room. I swore that sleeping person said there's something below something. Can I drag this too? No. Hmm. Is there any point in repairing this doorway? I mean, are the savages going to turn off my generator? Oh, right. Fan belt. Gasoline. It's starting to get dark. So I need to hunker down for the night. Okay, let's see what I can repair. Let me go to the workbench, grab as much nails and wood as I can. If there's any. Two nails. That'll have to do. That's it. Okay, that's it. Uh, doorway. So I can repair three doorways. Don't think I'm going to be barricading anything today. I just don't want there to be gaping holes. I'll settle for that, I guess. Well, actually, that's all the gaping holes. I guess I should barricade something. I don't even have the nails for that. I guess that's all I'm doing. Alright, let's go turn the generator on. Hope the night isn't scarier here. I should definitely make some traps. I can... <laughs> I can make one. <laughs> Yippee. That's not much. I should perhaps... Re I can't even repair that. Don't have the nails. Alright, one's gonna have to do. So it looks like it becomes nighttime right at about 1900, which is 7pm. It probably fully becomes dark at uh, 8 p.m., I'm guessing. Yeah, so where should I put this trap? Let's... Let's drag this lamp. It's a pretty good place. I'm going to try to, like, jam this spot. Guess it'll have to do. Oh, that didn't sound good. I'm just going to put a chain trap down just right here, I guess. But if I do that, how the hell am I going to get out? Nah, I'll put it here. Okay. Do I want to see what's outside? Not really. Shove some more furniture. Into places. I think I just heard a dog. Hope it's not a big dog. Oh, something's here. Alright, that'll have to do. Okay. I 
can search the shoes? Nothing there. nearby. Where is it? I'm just ignoring the voices, but there's definitely a monster nearby. There's also voices calling to me. Busted through something. Oh, it's busting through something. Oh! I can't go outside though, I'm gonna- Fuck. I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> Holy shit. It's not permadeath, by the way. Not- Not on normal difficulty. And then he just says you lose equipment if you die. Whatever that means. Oh, thank god the traitor's here. Holy shit, that was hard. How did that not- How did that one not get stuck on my chain? Or did it? No, it didn't, right? I don't know what happened there. Christ, what did I lose? What did I have on me? Does it only delete equipment from your inventory, not from other places? I definitely had more than this, right? Like, what about my bandages? Yeah, it looks like it got rid of at least my bandages. Damn, those were good bandages too. Those were the high tier ones. Yeah, the only thing I could think of that I could have done and what I'll probably do in the future is if I don't have everything all chained up and, you know, a good amount of traps and barricades going, if I don't have that, as that was the case there, I think I should preemptively take one of those super good bandages and just run into combat. I'm trying to dodge, but it's really tough. Okay, we lost a bit, but not that much. It's not too bad. I'm gonna make another lockpick. Can't even make a bandage. Alright, well, on that note, I think I'm gonna end this here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're gonna begin with Day 9.